Not too much time. I just want to take 60 seconds real quick to tell you why I'm thankful and why I praise God. See, I wasn't, my family's not religious. I wasn't raised in the church. Glory to God, I'm the first one to be baptized and to have an encounter with Christ. My great grandmother, hallelujah. My great grandmother was Catholic, but she used to play with the halfway Santeria stuff, the Santa Rita witchcraft stuff, and it was a curse on my family, right? But, but God says, hallelujah. When the head of the house is saved, the whole house is saved, meaning the whole bloodline is saved. So I thank God because how I met Jesus, it wasn't it wasn't in a hard time. I wasn't in jail. I didn't get shot. I didn't get none of that. Actually, I was sitting on the high. I wrote music. I got, I got opportunity. I got I signed a management deal with Daddy Yankee. He got me to work with French Montana, DJ Khaled, Jennifer Lopez. I did a whole bunch of things. And I was sitting on high, right? But then I was dating this girl. She invited me to a church. Long story short, that pastor was a wolf in sheep's clothes and he had, a, he had a clergy shirt, but he also played with witchcraft. And I didn't believe in that. I never denied Jesus, but I didn't believe that he was God. I didn't believe that he was a spirit. I just thought he don't got an album, he don't got a promo team, but I've been talking about him for thousands of years, so he got something. But I didn't know what it was, right? So then I went, I went to this church and this big pastor put his hands on me. He told me things that was in the back of my mind. He put his hands on me, he dropped. Three days later, I seen a girl get possessed. And glory to God, he let me see the unclean spirit in her and I didn't want to believe it. It was like trying to put a square in a circle. I didn't want to believe it, but glory to God, he allowed me to see. And I didn't open that book. The Bible was never quoted to me. But I see a believer came. And in the name of Jesus, I see that demon put his tail between his legs. And I said, who's that Jesus? I want to know that Jesus. So I had a lot of Muslim brothers around me that was hitting me with the Quran and it just wasn't hitting right. And then I opened the Bible and it just hit different. I was seeing things and, and, and I was hearing things and I know if I would have told people what I was seeing and hearing, I could have ended up in a loony bit. But then I read it in 1 Julie says, some can save others. Seeing them in the fire, snatching them out of the fire. Seeing the, 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 the what is it? Seeing the, the, the clothes upon the flesh. What is he saying? Some can see that some are possessed. Some can see that they're demonized. And they have the power through Christ Jesus to snatch others out. So when I read that, I knew I'm not the only one. They were trying to tell me I'm crazy and I'm losing it. But that Bible that was written thousands of years before I came into this earth gave me evidence of the unseen. It gave me comfortability that I'm not the only one. And I see the power of his name. I know the power of his name. And this is why I come into his gates with thanksgiving and praise. So I want to sing this song called Thanks and Praise with y'all. Can we do that? In the name of Jesus, let's get it. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. I just became a king. And the Lord of Lords here. To the church of Jerusalem. Oh yeah. To die again. Oh yeah.
Jesus! Jesus. 